This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Alright guys, this is Blood X coming at you with another grounded uh, update. Uh, I've been talking about my Mushroom Castle build, so I'm going to show you my uh, two epic construction builds that if you watch our show, she's been talking about them, calling them quote-unquote skyscrapers. Um, but um, I've got one video out that shows my current uh, main base, which as you see here, is one of the ones we have up in the sky, but I've recently been working on my mushroom castle using the mushroom uh, slurry bricks that you can make with the most recent Shroom and Doom update. So I'm going to show you uh, what we've done so far and then take you over to the um, mushroom castle. So I was playing with uh, Mrs. Blood X the other day and she walked over and freaked out because of the giant uh, stink bug. Uh, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. She thought it was actually real and alive, but uh, she didn't realize it had a menagerie of different things up here, which I thought was interesting. But this is uh, pretty much unchanged uh, from my last video. I don't remember if I actually showed my new workshop because we have uh, the boxes with all the contents up here, but I've made a new workshop down below, which has you know all of my massive storage of stuff along with uh, my ovens that i make the bricks with along with my uh, grinders here so this is kind of interesting and i've got a bunch of extra space here that i just don't know what to do with but i have it uh, for future use just in case we need it but this video is more about the mushroom castle that i built so let's head on over to the mushroom castle Now I did submit a video to um, Obsidian that the area right below me here, uh, there's a lot of uh, lag and latency and it seems to be just pretty much an oval shaped radius, I'm not sure why, but uh, they were interested in that problem. I did submit them a video on how that uh, has been having a problem. Because of the trampolines in multiplayer uh, was causing my, uh, my friends to actually fall and uh, take damage and eventually die. I had to create a ladder to go up for my friends to play with, which is, you know, frustrating, but uh, I get it. It's a beta game. So uh, I named this the Mrs. Blood Axe Ladder because she's been playing with me more than anybody else. So I did go ahead and construct a ladder to go up so that, that way she can climb up to the base up here and not have to worry about using the trampoline mechanisms that I use. While the trampolines are faster than the ladder, uh, this is much, much safer. So this took a little bit of time to construct, but I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, you know, the reason I chose the anthill for this location simply was because um, it gets me pretty much everywhere I want to go, whether it be back to the oak tree, over to the hedge or even to the haze. Uh, the only location that's kind of uh, cumbersome to get to, but it's just a couple of jumps, is the pond. So I can go back over to the oak tree and then down to the pond from there. So uh, this proved to be a pretty good location. And the fact that I like to go in the anthill frequently and try to form pieces of mint uh, also is a good spot. All right, we are almost to the bloody top. Okay, so as you can see, it's a, it's a bit of a, a trek, but it works. And this is my mushroom castle. Eventually I need to move the trampoline, but I'm using that so I can just get supplies up here. So around the edges, I do have a workshop here, not nearly as impressive as the other one. Uh, I do have a workbench right above, so I can just directly uh, create by pulling from down, down below. And I just have a lot of extra space down here for future use. Again, don't know if I'll ever need it, 
but I've got it just in case. And then I have some passageways that go around. To here and then I got another one that comes in this hallway down here so it's a it's got extra space for us to be able to uh, instruct and do things but um, this is the actual entryway into the mushroom castle and yes I formed a lot of bird feathers to do the roofing I've got uh, our spider guard and then we have our spider queen guard which those are the helmets from uh, the brood mother so this is our entryway. I'll probably just do something. No water filtration tablets there we needed. Go. All right. Once we get into there, then we kind of get into this open area here where I have my workbench and I have some basic chests. But this is where we get into the, um, the side rooms, which I built four towers. So I have one for each of my sons. So we got tower there, tower here. And we have almost like a courtyard type area here, uh, which also have copies of armor. And then I have the weapons here on the wall, almost kind of like a decoration or a museum type situation. So once we get into this area, we get into the main room. But I do want to show you the, um, the side rooms real quick. So if I open this up, as you can see, these hallways go all the way down, and we have these rooms that go up here, which again, I made one for each of my sons. Very leather chairs, beds, chests. So it's just something I just wanted to do special for, uh, for my kids. And then we get up to this area which is uh, what I've been calling the main castle keep. But there are uh, some um, options down here. So I did create, again, more space below. And if we go around, you'll see there's like a, almost like an apron that goes around the first part of the keep. And then the tower actually goes up, and uh, that's where uh, my room kind of is, is up at the top. So, as we go up, we take the spiral staircases up. And from here, we can choose to go up to the room, or there's a balcony. So if we go up... Then there's uh, mine and Mrs. Blood Axe's chairs here, bed, and then we also have a uh, another balcony up top. But also created um, this staircase to get up to the top up here, which allows me to go again back to the oak tree. If I want to go to the uh, the hedge, or if I want to go over to the um, the haze. Now one or even jump over to. Uh, fight some of the um, um, dragonflies or if I want to go bee farming which is <laughs> I think they buffed up the bees but one thing I did want to show I thought was pretty cool a little safe. is uh, because one of the zip lines was getting in the way <laughs> of the build I had to get a little creative when it came to the uh, construction of the uh, foundation so if we run over here to the Hayes base, and I built this well before uh, Hayes actually uh, did damage to your mask. Um, so this would be really hard to build now nowadays. But I built this area to be able to use as a little way station if we ever came to do things in the Hayes. I actually had to use uh, our supply of stuff over here just to be able to get back out but um, fortunately the um, the build doesn't take damage in the haze like we do or our equipment but i did want to show how really tight and close the zip line came to the construction of the uh, the mushroom castle foundation 
speed right now we're out of the haze but the closer we get to the mushroom castle we will re-enter the haze but that, they, it appears they increase the um the size of the haze and also how high up it the uh, the haze goes see now we're back in the haze that used to not be that way before shroom and doom so there's the mushroom castle from this side as you can see, we're going to go through some of the walls and down under the foundation. There you go. So this is what I've been doing in Grounded. Curious to see what you've been doing in Grounded. If you have any epic builds, definitely let us know. Um, if you're interested in some ideas and tips and things, by all means, feel free to... Uh, to ask and uh, those that, that have asked yes my raw science is organic I didn't use any glitches or exploits I've actually played so much ground that I have 256,000 raw science available to me so I did not do any uh, cheats or exploits but by all means there are definitely some comments below and uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you other than that thank you very much for watching hope you enjoy Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!